Hi everybody, welcome to Solar Panel Basics. My name is Jillian and I'm going to be helping you out today. We're going to be covering the broad strokes about what these solar panels are, who they're for, how they can help you, and a bunch of other good stuff. So before we begin, be sure to click subscribe, like, and turn on notifications, and we'll be able to party. guys are the portable solar panels that to-go power has to offer. They come in a really cool kit. You just pop open these buttons, which are really easy to use. They're foldable and they come in panel sections. This is the 60 watt and it comes in three panels and our 120 watt comes in four panels. So all I need to do is close it up real quick like this, click it back together, and you're good. Users! So who are these panels for? It's for people who like to live on the go, who have power needs. How would these fit into your life? Well, this is going to be an excellent choice if you need to get away from your vehicle. So this is perfect if, say, you park your van somewhere and you decide to go on a hike, but you still need to charge things, like, say, your phone or your tablet, maybe you're bringing your drone or your camera and you're not sure if you're gonna have enough power for the whole day, this is the guy to bring. You can't bring a giant metal <laughs> solar panel with you. It's clunky, it's huge, it can fall and break. This guy is meant to be on the road with you. What can you power? So what do these power up? Well, first and foremost, we recommend powering up your power station. Our portable solar panels are compatible not only with to-go power and Balder, it's also compatible with Jackery. If you happen to have a different brand besides Balder and Jackery, you can get a handy dandy adapter. This comes separately, this does not come with your solar panel, but if you have a different brand like say Rock Pals or Paxis, you can use this adapter on these solar panels and you can power up your power station. These solar panels take about five hours, give or take, to fully charge up a power station. Depending on the brand and the wattage, you could get it lower, even possibly as low as three hours, but again, that's totally dependent on what kind of energy it can hold and what brand. So to be on the safe side, just consider it a five or six hour event. Sometimes people leave their solar panels outside for only a couple minutes, like even as little as five, and they think that the sun can just be magically absorbed into these things and they can finish charging indoors or even at night. That is not the case. It's important that you leave it in direct sunlight for the full duration of what's required, five to six hours. Have it pointing directly at the sun, not away, not in the shade, and it'll be able to charge up whatever is connected. So this can actually charge more than a power station. You go to the back and unzip it. Just past all the wires, we have a USB-C port and a USB-A port. So what that means is you can charge things like your cell phone, your laptop, your tablet, and a bunch of other goodies directly to the solar panel. So you don't necessarily need a power station in order to charge up those things, which makes this quite handy and versatile. Location! So where do you use this? Well, you use it anywhere outside where there's the sun. Camping, boating, going to the beach, going to a park, any place that you're in direct sunlight, these guys are going to be the most useful. If you have it on a cloudy day, it's not going to be quite as effective as it would be on a clear sunny day. And I think the name speaks for itself. You can't use it at night. First things first, this is made out of monocrystalline material. This is how you get the energy from the sun. It's standard for all solar panels, it's very fun. And it has a conversion efficiency rate of 23%, which is also standard for solar panels. Next, it comes with a kickstand, which is on the back of the solar panel, and that'll help you angle your solar panel properly so that it can get the optimum energy from the sun. Next, our solar panels are water resistant. It's actually pretty incredible. You can soak almost this entire thing in water. So if you're out and it suddenly rains or maybe you're with your friends and some guy just spills water or his drink all over this, don't worry. It's 
not going to short out, it's not going to die, it'll live. But there is one part that cannot be touched by water and that is the power pack that I showed you on the back of the solar panel earlier in the video. That cannot get wet. If that gets wet, it's done so. The next feature that our solar panels have are these grommets, which is located on both ends of the solar panel. This is really handy if you want to hang up your solar panel somewhere. Maybe you found camp and there's a nice tree that is directly in the sun and you don't have a lot of space to walk around. You can hang it up it can absorb light. People have used these grommets to help reinforce the solar panel. That way it can stay in its same position. It's very handy. It's very simple. It's not something that I would think of being a simpleton, but little details matter, right? In conclusion! If you want to learn more about these units, check out the link right here to gopowerusa.com where you can read all the specific specs and see what else we have to offer. As mentioned before, I'm going to include the user manuals in the description below, that way you can see the specs for yourself. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!